So in this video, I want to take us through the steps of finding a data set and loading it up inside a spreadsheet. So of course I'm going to go to the Internet Gateway, the gateway to the world's internet and information, Google. So we know we have such things as open data sets. So if I type that in, where can I find large data sets open to the public? That's the first entry. The second one is a Firebase open data set and we've got of course the Australian one and the Queensland one. So there's a lot of open data out there. Governments take data, publish it open for people to access. I'm going to find the Queensland government one because that's one I'm familiar with. And here we are. And we know that there are 1612 data sets. Now, I know that I'm looking for postcode data. So let's type in postcode. Okay, I'm looking for postcode data because I want to get some form of geospatial awareness and I know that I can get nice postcode data. There are 17 of those. Births by mothers, there seems to be a lot of those, marine licenses, QCAT, home education registrations, vessel registrations, boats and vehicles, so people that with boats. So let's continue that theme. The first thing that I can work with is vessel registrations CSV. It's a CSV, that means it's a comma delimited file. I'll show you what a comma delimited file looks like. I'll open it up in Notepad. So I'm going to give it a heading. So I'm going to call it say animal type. I'm going to put it in quotes because that's a valid CSV thing. I'm going to give it a postcode. Okay, it's going to be my heading and I'm going to have a count. So my animal type is going to be a bird. A postcode, my postcode. Count, how many people have got birds? 1,231 birds are registered. There will be dogs. Same postcode, comma, 344. Four. And there might be cats in 4072. And there might be 315. And of course we know there'll be dogs, there'll be more than one set of dogs. Okay, they love the dogs in St. Lucia. So that is a comma delimited file, a CSV file. Now I open that up in Excel, it'll know how to put that into cells. So I'll close that, go into these vessel registrations. Now what I'm going to find is, ah, oh, okay, so we've got 4,000 to 4214, 4215 to 4559, etc, etc, etc. So all the way around around Queensland. I know that my suburb is in this vessel registration, so I'm going to open that up. But I could open up all of them and just add them one after the other. 6.9 megabytes. I wonder what this visualization preview does for me. Frankly, not a lot. Here's a map. And it's working, working, working. And I'm not going to get too much out of the automatic solution. So I'd need to give it some fields. So I don't really want to muck around with that. Here's my registration. I'm going to open up this 6.9 megabytes of data. I've clicked on it. Immediately Windows knows that it's a Microsoft Excel file. Now, you could save the file and just put it to one side. I'm going to open up directly with Microsoft Excel because I like to live dangerously. Here comes my Microsoft Excel. So immediately now I've got postcode, suburb state, registration category. So I've got types, registration, which is probably the number of months that the thing is registered for, private, use, what the make of the thing is, what model, the color, body shape, length, draft, fitted with sales, yes or no. That's already a lot of data right there about boats. So if I have a commercial question around boats, look at that, 61,000 nearly boats there. So there's individual ones right there. So if I go back up to the top, I can make that look a lot neater. I can do Control A, which will select the entire data set, 
and then I know that if I just go up here and double click on our little column separator it'll automatically make them wider or narrower as needs be. Now there is a quicker way to do this which is simply that but you don't need to know how to do that. That was Alt O C A. Thank you Microsoft for bringing in keystrokes and hotkeys. Bad Microsoft for getting rid of them but they still work if you knew what they ever were. So that's my data. Before I can start working with it I do need file save as and if I wanted to I can go to my actual drive but I'm going to put it in my desktop and just call it vessel registration database okay and I'm going to change it from CSV which is wonderful for data transfer but pretty ordinary for analysis and put it into an Excel workbook save okay look at that I've got one data set right now boats now this leads me to the next data set that I could very easily grab if I go back a bit up here I know I had marine licenses by type and postcode guess what I click on it I open it up it is again a CSV file I download it much smaller this one and over we go we've now got it up here so now we've got postcodes these are Queensland license holders of boat vessel licenses and so marine licenses we got it out of 406A okay there are 512 licenses held in 406A now if I go back to my earlier item so the spreadsheet that I had before my vessel registration database now I can filter this okay, by going to data and filter see let's put these little drop downs along the top I can tell that I want to know all about those boats that are registered to 4068 and there are down here in the bottom I can see there are 412 boats in 4068 now remember we had 512 license holders in 4068 so what that tells me is there look they're probably not exactly 100 licenses missing without pe people with the license but without a boat they're probably not the same people but there are more boat holders boat license holders than there are boat owners in this suburb that's what I can tell and I can key this using the 4068 I can use that to present a geospatial bit of information. That's two public data sets right there. So again, I could add a tab down the bottom to create a bigger database. So what I'm going to do is bring across those marine licenses. So I just clicked on the little plus down there. Double click to give this a name, marine license database. Okay, and I'll give this a nicer name. Vessel registration database so two actually I'll call them data sets because they're not really databases data set data set two public database data sets bring them across I can go up to here so I've gone up to cell A1 shift right arrow right arrow shift down arrow shift control down arrow takes me all the way down to the bottom of my jar now I'm going to pick up the whole data set so control C Control F6 to go back to my marine license data set. Control V. And I will do my little trick again. O, C, A. I formatted that up. Now what I've got is I've got a database that I can start to clean up. Now I could delete out immediately anyone who was not in Queensland. Because there's no way I want to open up a boat shop based on Queensland license holders elsewhere. So I'm going to delete everything that isn't for in front of it, so isn't Queensland. So I just right clicked and got rid of the Queensland, the non-Queensland ones. We know that Queensland's, Queenslanders are great and they live in postcodes with a four in the front. So we'll get rid of all of these fives because the other one is just Queensland registered boats. 
Control Shift N took me to the bottom. Right click, choose Delete. All of that is Gornsky. From that, I can generate a data visualization, a geospatial data visualization. And I've got a couple of options for doing that, and I'll take a look at that in the next video.